welcome again. I'm Bishop Peter Gatimo, reaching out with the word of God. And uh, thank you for following us well in uh, Facebook and subscribing to our YouTube. I pray that you invite others that they may be edified, healed, and get delivered. We appreciate that you are watching and you are reasoning. We preach the word. We preach the word. We strengthen those who really want uh, the word of God. Today we continue with authority of prophetic prayer, part two. Yes. Now, uh, I want to, 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 to share on uh, waiting, waiting for the word of God. Waiting. One thing that will cause God to flow freely in you is because you are ready to do what God says. In 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse, I think verse 36, <coughs> I was, and it came to pass at the time of the evening, at the time of the evening sacrifice, that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel and I am your servant and that I have done all these things at your word. A prophetic prayer that is waiting for God to speak. This man is saying, let it be known today. Yes. One of the level of prophetic prayer is when you want God to manifest Best himself in his uniqueness so that people will know him. Let it be known today, my God, that you are the only God in Israel. And number two, I am your servant. And number three, my ministry, whatever I'm doing, is you who sent me. I'm, I am in agreement with your word. Hallelujah. The Lord you confirm himself. As you reach out in prophetic prayer, the Lord you confirm himself. The Lord you confirm his servant. And the Lord you confirm the ministry he has given us. Confirming himself. Confirming the messenger, the prophet. And confirming the ministry of the prophet. It's very important to know that in Jesus Christ's name. Aha. Uh -huh. How are, you be, how are you able to flow with the Holy Spirit as you make what we call prophetic prayer? Number one, yield to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Just release yourself. Just as you release yourself in the swimming pool, as you swim, release yourself to the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, take me where you want. Lead me, lead me, take over. Oh my God, pray until heaviness disappears. The Holy Ghost is more effective in you. Yes, that's very important. Number two, bite the powers of darkness. You will not be able to flow in prophetic prayer if you do not bite. Let the powerless, the powers of darkness. Hallelujah. Let them powerless. Use the name of Jesus Christ and the blood of Christ. Uh -huh. Number three, keep your mind and your spirit open to the Holy Spirit. There are two areas very important if you are going to flow in prophetic prayer. Keep your mind and your spirit open to God. God, I'm waiting to hear. I'm waiting to see. Lord, I'm open. It's, it's, like, it's like the way David prayed in 1 Samuel chapter 30 when they were attacked by Amalekites. Americans took away all the children, all the wives, and they burned down the tents. And Abraham and, and David and his, his warriors pray, cried until they had no more strength to cry. And David 
uh, decided to, to pray. If you check how David prayed in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 7 and 8, then David said to appear that the priest, Abimelech's son, please bring me the effort here to me. And verse 8, and David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. This is a prophetic prayer. You are waiting for the word, a prophetic word for now. Remember, prophecy is when God speaks his might, his word concerning now. Lord, I'm open to you now. Should I run after Amalekites? Will I overtake them? Will I bring back all the children, all the wives? And God says, surely you will recover everything. I pray you need that, friends, for your business. You need that, friends, because there should be word for your business which is falling. Word for your family which is so much affected. Word for that sick person in HDU or ICU. Lord, I'm open to you. What do you want, Lord? What is the way? I tell the truth. If there's any moment that I've become very strong, it's when um, I keep my mind and my spirit open to the Holy Spirit. And a thing is very important. Be empowered by the Holy Spirit. You cannot flow in prophetic prayer if you do not have the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Flow in His power. You know, God cannot use you if you are not flexible. People don't know that some of, some of the people in the church are so much themselves so much conscious about themselves in a way that it's very hard for the Holy Ghost to take preeminence, to take over. I say, be empowered by the Holy Spirit. Pray in tongues. I'm not talking about your church and my church. I'm talking about at the truth. These days, I prayed for so many people, Presbyterian, Anglican, Baptist, and I tell you, the other day I was in Anglican church, I remember about 70 people, I think 60 people were filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke in tongues for three hours. I said to you, friends, do not base Holy Spirit baptism on the boundaries of your church. If your pastor does not speak in tongues, he should accept it and pray about it. It's possible, it's possible. It's important to pray in tongues. Not all, but the tongues of the Holy Spirit. How, how is the tongues of the Holy Spirit? They are full of power. Full of power. Full of guidance. Full of prophet, prophecy. Full of praise. If you check Acts chapter 10, the Bible says, chapter 10, uh -huh. I hope you are there. Verse 44. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who heard the word, and those of the circumcision who believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles also. For they heard them, verse 46, for they heard them, Speak with the tongues and magnify God. Not all tongues are Holy Ghost. These days, diviners are praying for people, but they speak in tongues that are not of the Holy Spirit. You find some women crawling aloud, jumping aloud, behaving like they are patterned, not free, speaking in tongues that are not edifying. The Spirit Pray in tongues. The Holy Ghost tongues glorify Jesus. And they magnify God. And I think you notice in chapter 19 of the Acts of Apostles, the Bible says in verse 6, chapter 19 verse 6, and when, the, when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, 
and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Oh my God. It's good to pray in tongues. Look at this. Prophecy associated with tongues. They spoke in tongues and prophesied. If you want prophetic prayer, it's, it's connected with proper and completed surrender to the Holy Ghost, whereby you speak in tongues in a deeper way. Not just ordinary tongues. Oh, no, no. You, you really get down deeper. And you speak deeper in tongues. And they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Remember, they spoke in tongues and magnified God. They spoke in tongues and prophesied. That's powerful. Another thing is, pray, pray, as you pray in tongues and get deeper, if you yield yourself, you realize the Holy Spirit is likely to give you interpretation. Note, not translation of what word, but meaning. Most cases when I pray prophetic prayer, and I speak in tongues, I don't translate. You don't translate word by word. It's not translation. I speak in tongues, and in my mind, I'm getting the meaning. The meaning. What is the Holy Ghost saying? What is he saying? What is he saying? I could be speaking in tongues, and I'm interceding for somebody who is sick. I'm able to know. The Holy Ghost was leading me to pray for so and so. Somebody that I, I didn't, could not think about. The Holy Ghost is leading me to pray for the protection. The Holy Ghost is leading me to pray for this hospital. I tell you, as you speak in tongues and as you yield yourself, the Holy Spirit will give you understanding, some meaning in your mind, and, and you, you discover that things are working. For you to have a prophetic prayer that is effective, be spirit, direct, spirit of God directed. The Holy Spirit that we receive is prophetic spirit. If you read 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, the Bible says, but it is written, 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter 2, verse 9, but as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. There is something unique in the kingdom. There are things already prepared. I submit this. There are things already prepared by God, retained for the children. Bible says they have never entered the eye of any man. Why? They are beyond your clan. They are beyond your ancestors. They are beyond the standard of your estate. That's why we end up buying, purchasing cars. When you move around, people don't understand. Are you the one or not? That's why in John chapter 9, when that man who was born blind was healed by Christ, people could not comprehend. They said, is he the one or not? Because these are things that are extraordinary. Nobody thought you could be that way. They never enter that of man. They can only be released prophetically. I say, brothers and sisters, some things that, that are speaking in the church. I tell you, there are things that are just prophetic. Extraordinary, extraordinary things that have never entered. You speak something and it shakes and shocks all people. How did it happen? How? When? Which? What? Now, and we are saying it has never entered the eye. Never, that has never, it has never entered the heart of man. You find yourself releasing words that concerning a brother or a sister that have never entered any heart of a human being. Nobody could have thought this man who was a beggar who, who was down, down at the bottom of the sli or of Islam could become a president. I said things that never enter the heart of man, but are kept by God for a purpose. I say when you pray prophetically, you lead into 2 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2.9. 
eye has not seen, ear has not heard, it has never entered the heart of man. Things which God has prepared for those that love him. Your family love God is going to become a family that no one would have thought it would be. I release the, this, this word that there's something kept by God for you. It has never been seen. No eye has seen. No ear has heard. It never entered the heart of man. Unique things prepared by God for you. But God, but God verse 10, has revealed them to us through the, his spirit. For the spirit, Holy Spirit, searches all things, yet the deep things of God. I, live, I speak to you, friends. You need to receive the Holy Spirit. And in prayer, you to the Holy Spirit. For he searches all things, even the deep things of our God the Father, where your record is kept, where things that I has not seen are kept. The Spirit of God is about to search, search, and bring them to us. I say, if you are going to pray prophetically, you must yield to the Holy Spirit. He searches all things, even the deeper things of God. The Bible says, verse 12, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, For we have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit of God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. Father, there are things freely given to that sister from you. Oh my God, that brother who is crying there, who is opting to do evil things, don't do them. There are things prepared by God for you. What I advise you to do, you come maybe see me if you are around. And I want to lay hands on you. You receive the Holy Spirit speaking tongues and magnify God. Receive the Holy Ghost, speaking tongues and prophesy. For the spirit that you have received is spirit of prophecy. The Bible says in John 16 verse 13, the spirit of God that you have received is spirit of prophecy. The Bible says, I hope you have your Bible. Is this very important? That is John 16 verse 13. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come. He will guide you into all the truth. Do not give up. Don't be depressed, suppressed, or oppressed. Receive the Holy Ghost. Speak in tongues. For the Holy Spirit will guide you into all the truth. He searches deep things. About says, into all the truth. About says, and he will speak. He will glorify Christ. He will remind you all things. He will guide you into all the truth. I am now, wherever you are, I release the Holy Ghost on you now. Speak in your tongues now. Wherever you are, you are saved. Hey, raise your, your hands wherever you are. Receive the Holy Spirit. Open your mouth, speak in tongues. And from today now, speak in tongues. Glorify God. Magnify God. Oh my God, prophesy now. Spirit of God who searches all things, deep things in God, where you are like Kodesh, will from today release your truth and you'll be produced differently. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has it entered the heart of man, things that God has kept for you. You could be exhausted, but there's something extra. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 27, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I pray receive renewed strength. They shall walk and not faint. They will run and not grow weary. And in finally they will end up mounting up high like eagle. You are one of them. Receive this anointing and strength. In Christ I bless your life.